Hi everyone and welcome to a new basic LS Dyna tutorial. So in this tutorial we're gonna try something different. Uh, so the first different thing that we're going to no, we're going to try is we're gonna, going to do an implicit problem. And the second thing is we're gonna check the results of the solution. So before this I used to explain to you what we're gonna do and you have to imagine but here we have this problem so we're going to try to simulate the compression of this block okay so we have the material type so from here we can have the properties of the material and from there we can try to check let's say check the stress or check the uh, elongation is it the same or not so first of all we're gonna make this cylinder or this specimen okay so it says short cylindrical block and it has a diameter of 12 and a length of 37.5 mm so we go to the pre-post we go to element and mesh and shape measure and of course we select cylinder solid okay just now he says the diameter is 12 so here is radius so gonna be 6 mm the length 37.5 okay now this and this are the num number of elements in the longitudinal direction and in the radial direction so I will put 52 and here also I will put 52 and uh, here I say cylindrical specimen specimen and hit the create button so click on the control and you turn it around to see what you have made click on accept okay you see the mesh is not showing so you click here mesh on and off so now you have this mesh of the block okay So now we have the specimen. We're gonna proceed with first thing is inputting the material properties. So click on all, see material. Mm, what is that? Material. Okay, in this problem we're gonna use material number uh, material number zero one, which is elastic. Okay in this elastic material uh, this elastic material actually all we only will represent the material the behavior uh, the behavior of the material from here until here in the elastic region so the relation between the stress and strain gonna be a linear or a very straight line okay then after it it reaches the yield point then it will go non-linear how did I know that why I'm using this elastic material because the deformation in this problem is going to be very small and how do I know that this is actually from the book because I have the book and in this book until this chapter we're only covering or learning about the linear behavior of the materials okay so we have the material which is aluminum okay click on new ID the density is uh, 2.8 a minus 6 remember this one is in kilo in kilogram per millimeter cube this one young young's modulus is 37.1 gigapascal and this is actually I take it from here okay 73 sorry 73.1 giga pascal okay and then uh, poisons ratio is 0 0.35 and this one also I take it from here 0 0.35 and hit on the accept okay now we close the material we don't need it anymore we go to the section 
Okay, so section solid. Here new ID. I just put the title solid and then I hit on the accept. Done. Okay, I close this one. Now I link between the geometry, between the part and the material and the section. I go to part, part here, section ID is the solid section. Material ID is the aluminum. And click on accept. Okay, now we rotate this one. We're gonna apply force on this side. And this side, we're gonna fix it. So first, we're gonna um, define a set of the no of nodes that the f uh, on which the force will be applied. And the force here, you can see, you can see it is four kilo newton. Okay. So now you go to create entity, set data, and go to set node. And here you just click here create and you pick by element and click on propagate and you click on all these okay how many nodes you have is 820 nodes it is very uh, important for you to know how many nodes so we have 820 nodes so before I click on apply I rename them uh, load nodes then click on apply okay then i rotate now i want to fix this other side okay i click on boundary then go to spc then uh, all are all of these are ticked meaning they will be fixed in all the translational degree of freedom and also rotational degree of freedom then I click here on element, propagate, I click on one element on the button and it on the bottom and it will pro propagate and hit on the apply. So now this will be fixed and this up the upper node just they are defined as one set for the time being. So show this one uh, just one set nothing uh, for the time being nothing is applied on them and this lower one this blue one are actually fixed so I click none to hide here also I click on none to hide both of them okay now to define the load okay so to define the load I go to define and click on load where is that No, sorry, define curve, not define lo load, define curve. And this is load curve and click on new. Okay. So, of course, the load gonna start from zero. So, insert and at time equal to one, it will reach the maximum load. So here as seen in the problem is actually 4 kN. Okay, and in our units the force already in kN so I just put 4 and click on insert. Okay, here we have to make uh, we have to remember some uh, something a very important point that this 4 actually will be applied on each and every node on the set. So actually we need to divide this 4 by the total number of the of the nodes in the set up here that's why i told you you need to remember the number of the node so i open my calculator and i have 4 divided by 820 which is the total number of nodes and this one will be equal to this number so i just copy and here i instead of the four uh, of the four i replace this one and I paste the the number it's now so I replace then again here I put time equal to 2 and then insert then accept so this is 
how you define the curve you start from 0 and here actually is 1 when you reach 1 actually you're reaching the maximum force then after that you just go straight and done okay after we are uh, we done with defining the curve now we define the load so load node set here this one so node set you click on the load nodes degree of freedom of course one in x load curve id is the curve just now okay this one scaling factor you have to put minus one why because we want to compress this specimen so the curve should be negative that's why you multiply by minus one except done okay so now we need to define the database the output database d3 plot and the output i want it to be every 0 0.00 sorry 0 0.01 except done now i go to the important part control we have many options here first we go to the one we know Control termination, termination time, I put it as 1 only, except, then here control implicit, we have few options, we want to define 4 of them, first, implicit auto, except uh, the default parameters should be ok, so you don't need to, meet them, uh, to define any of them then the second one is control uh, implicit general so you accept here you need to uh, change few things okay this one you don't put zero put one because you want to invoke the implicit solver so you put one for implicit analysis okay the time step for the implicit analysis you put 0 0.01 then click on accept the rest should be undefined uh, should be unmodified and should be okay then the third one is implicit solution and from here you just need to change this solver okay you have many options of them the default actually should work fine okay the default one which is number 12 but right now as I said we are dealing with a linear problem because the force is very small and the the force is very small and the material doesn't reach the yield point so the behavior is linear and we also define an elastic material so here i just put number one the solver is a linear solver except but if you have a problem with big stress uh, with big stresses then you just put it non-linear Okay, then the last one is implicit solver and this one you just click on accept you don't need to change any any one of them okay so click on model uh, so now we save this one and we run it and we see what will happen okay so browse tutorial number four I click on I put the name tutorial and then save okay then after that I open my LS Dyna solver how did I save save okay I show desktop and I open this one run pause okay tutorial so we click on tutorial again but this one I try to put nine 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 okay finally after 32 minutes the simulation is done 
so now we want to check the results so from the solve itself click on this one post processing last analysis and okay and let's see what do we have here okay as you can see now uh, if you notice the deformation is very small so it's barely noticeable so you go to here uh, the post processing then the setting over here we display setting and uh, you click on this one display displacement scale factor uh, in three directions put it let's say as 100 and apply okay now at least you can see some changes in the specimen okay now we want to check the stresses so click here let's say uh, check on this one and see how much is our stress okay we go at the end of course okay uh, you see the maximum stress should be actually here in the middle but here you see we have some concentration of the stress this is actually because the force is not equally distributed as it should be and that is because of the meshing of the surface so the stress in the middle as you can see is somewhere around 3.3 e minus 2 giga pascal which which means it is 33.4 or, or th between 33 and 36 mega pascal and here when we check our solution this is the value of the stress which is 35.36 mega pascal okay now we want to check uh, another value so we close this one we go to the history now we want to check the displacement so you go to nodal and x displacement of course because the force in x then click on any node in the sur on the surface okay let us uh, go back here go back here yes you are clicking on that node so you plot and you see that displacement is going down negative of course and because it is in the negative direction and you see you click here and you can, you can see the value okay the time is one of course and the displacement is 1.85 e minus 2 okay and if you check the solution here you have the same okay 1.8 e minus 2 millimeters okay so like that we check or we can rather say we verify the simul uh, we verif we, we have verified our simulation okay so that's all for today thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any question or request please drop in the comment okay bye bye see you next time